we'll have George with Thocker Thocker at uh, Windy Kingston Park um, in his vest after doing physio, which is good to see. Um, George, you made your comeback on the weekend um, in the Cup game, successful comeback, a try and an assist. Um, how was that for you? Yeah, no, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, it was all pretty surreal to be honest here. Just, just nice to be back out there. It all happened so quickly from when I did my leg. It felt like it was yesterday and then to be back on the pitch. Um, now I'm just grateful to be back on the pitch, you want to see, that was it. Um, not a nice experience to look back on, obviously, but, but what was your injury and what was the kind of route back to getting on the field? So I did, I uh, broke my tibia, fibula, fibula um, did my ligaments, synosmosis, pretty much everything you can think of around there. And it was actually against Bath um, this time last year, around about November time. Um, but no, yeah, I did that and then I had two surgeries after that. I had to get a couple of plates and a couple of screws put in. And yeah, it took me 337 days to get back on the pitch. Not that you were counting. Yeah, I wasn't counting. So it's, yeah, I think someone told me or something, but yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it was, um, it was a long trip. It was a lot of dark times to be fair. Um, just being by yourself and watching the boys train, but no, I'm just happy to be back to be honest with you more than anything else. So how do you help get through those times? The medical staff and teammates, I guess, are kind of pushing you along? Yeah, massively. Like, I think just the support around the club and outside the club was massive, to be fair, just to get through, because um, as most people who go through with um, any kind of long-term injury, they'll know that the support is massive because you'll have some pretty dark times. So um, that's the biggest thing when when things do get, start to get dark, you've got people you can rely on and um, yeah, that's probably my, yeah. No, they definitely got me through a lot of it, to be fair. But let's focus on the good news. You're back on the pitch, a really positive contribution in the cup game on the weekend. Um, you might have been hoping for a gentle 10 minutes at the end of the game, but um, due to injuries, you got you got a decent hour there. How are the uh, legs and the lungs? Yeah, no, um, well, my lungs are still missing, so if anyone can find it, um, feel free to hit, hit me up. Um, <laughs> But no, it was it was good to be fair. Um, it was a bit of a surprise. I didn't expect to get that much game time. I was going in, like you said, with the expectation of maybe getting about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And then Zach unfortunately got his HIA. And then, yeah, no, it was good. It was just nice to get into it. I, I think those are the best ones where you're not really prepared for it and you're just kind of thrown into the deep end. And yeah, I just, I could really be in the moment and just enjoy it, to be honest with you. So it was good. Talking about thrown into the deep end, we've got Bath away to start the Gallagher Premiership this weekend. Um, as a former Bath player as well yourself, um, what can we expect down there? We just know they've got, they've got a very physical pack. Um, that's where it's going to be won. Uh, we front up and then after that we can let our back three players do what they need to do and get the ball to our boys like Radez on the wing and Stevenson. Um, so that'll be it for us. I think as long as we front up physically, then we'll take care of it in the backs. What's the general mood at the club being like? We've obviously got some new coaches and players in this year, a bit of a change of philosophy maybe? No, 100%. Uh, things have definitely changed over the last however couple of months or so. Um, but no, it's been really good. Uh, Codders has come in and really changed the environment and it just seems to be a bit of a buzz around here uh, at the moment. And I guess whenever there's a new coaching staff that come in, it's always going to be like that. But I think we've got riding it really well and with the results we've had with the Prem Cup, hopefully we can take that onto the Premiership. Cheese Wacker, thanks for your time and great to have you back. Perfect, thank you.